Blue Spikes Beer Review is going to be looking at Corona Extra. Um, this beer gets a 56 on beer advocate, they both get a 47, which are both um, poor to awful scores. Um, yeah. It's a typical Mexican beer, through West Cerveza Re Modelo in Mexico, of course. It says La Cerveza Mastina, that's a typical thing that's always, that's always on, on the bottle. There's a date on the bottle that says, uh, uh, no, that's not a date. It's not, not really anything I can make sense of. Um, yeah, this is 4.6 AB, ABV, and there's like the debate as to whether this is the same thing as the Corona Familiar, or whether this is different. Um, and I have that in the fridge, I'm going to do a review of that here pretty, pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and try this. I've had it many, many times. So I've never, I've never done a formal examination here before. It's a good amount of smell coming out of the bottle. I can smell a little skunk, to be honest with you. Yeah, I can smell it, but it it, it, it isn't a clear bottle, and that's you know that's that's what happens. If it's, if it's in a green or a clear bottle, the light gets in, and it can sometimes sometimes spoil the beer, which is why it's always best to have a brown bottle. Uh, personally, I've never had a skunky Corona, so let's see what this is like. I'm going to pour it down the center, try and get a big head. And I am. I am succeeding at this. I apologize for the, for the music in the background, and I forgot to, to, to turn it down. Pour it down the center, it's about three fingers of spongy white head. You can still smell a little skunk just from here. Sporadic bubbles, gold straw. From the camera, from the iPad, I'm filming this with it looks gold, but to me it looks a little more straw color. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit of skunk. <sighs> I bought this in a six pack mix and match at Hy-Vee where you can just get as many different beers as you want in a six pack, uh, but they have these in big, big bom bomber single bottles uh, for about maybe two, two dollars, something like that. And I don't know what the six pack or twelve pack price is. I don't normally, I don't ever buy this at, at, at that volume. Uh, I do get some skunk. I do get some graininess. Um, and I don't know whether this is has adjunct grains in it or not. But beer advocate, beer advocate, beer advocate classifies this as a adjunct American adjunct lager, even though it's made in, even though it's made in Mexico. Um, I get. Barley malt sweetness, graininess, and water. It's very, you know, typical aroma, but this one has a little bit more grainy sk skunkiness than, you know, maybe, and then maybe, then maybe, well, like uh, Budweiser or Miller, Miller High Life, something like that. Let's go ahead and give this a try. There's no skunk in the, in the taste at all. Years. There's no like cloying sweetness there. There's, there's, there's some hot profile, which is which is neat. I think. I think. I think. I think it's cool. You can have a you know a lager that is macro, you know, produced at a very large level that has a hot profile. I mean, like a, a you know a larger one than you know than maybe Budweiser. Yeah. There's hops. Water, graininess, which is not really a whole lot though, which makes me question as whether this has grains in it or not, but a tad bit of it I'm getting. Yeah, the flavor it has a lot of, a lot of character, so you know you can't you can't say that it that it is fla flavorless because it it, it isn't. Um, it's I think it's pretty well made. I think it's worth drinking. The mouthfeel is just getting like a, like a bitterness on the taste there, which is, which is you know, I'm not used to that because typically these, you know, macro lockers don't have that. Um, um, the, the mouthfeel, like I said, is, is, is semi, semi dry. There's no prickliness whatsoever. It's hot and humid in here and, and, out, and outside here in Nebraska, and it's just kind of. Um, this is good for that right now. It's perfect for that. Um, you know, it's it's a highly, highly, highly drinkable, highly re refreshing. If you want a more hoppy 
lager, heavy, uh, hoppy adjunct lager. This is this is definitely one to go with. I would say I'm getting more hops than really anything else. But this it, it is it isn't like a IPA or anything. Don't don't get me wrong. Um, how would I rate this? I would buy I would buy a couple bomber bottles of this. I wouldn't buy six six pack. I'd buy, I'd buy a couple big big bottles of it, which I can. Um, I'd have to go A here. I mean, it's a very pleasurable, hoppy, delicious, delicious lager. And I don't like, you know, it's just, just another, another one of those things where, you know, those beer snobs who go on, on rate beer and be advocate, they do ratings that are very, very that are they're very low, and because they don't, they don't like the style in 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 general. They don't they don't like the, the, they don't like companies that 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 produce tons and tons of beer. So. I think it's A. Um, I think it's definitely worth trying. Uh, and again, I've never had a skunky Corona, even though it's in a clear bottle. So I think it's worth trying. I'm sure many of you have had it, but it's A, definitely.